Welcome back. Balatro time, baby. Green stake? I think that's what we're up to. Nope. We've done green stake. Nope. Wrong deck. Black stake. Shop can have eternal jokers. That was a really interesting... I've seen this a little bit. This is a really interesting... Uh, balancing lever to me. Um, I think we just play. Ooh. That was a good hand. Blue Joker. Oh, these are both eternal. <laughs> Loyalty card is pretty powerful. I think it's good enough to buy. Oh, that's very tempting. I'm not sure that skip is good, but I'm going to go for it. Oh, I actually can't trigger loyalty card this hand. That's kind of a problem. Guess I'll throw these out. Ooh. Uh, I think it's very tempting to try and hit this straight flush. Ooh. Nice. So typically with loyalty card, you're trying to line up your hands against bosses. Might be tricky to do here. Business card, unfortunately not very good. Oh, this is all free. This is good. Uh, definitely buy the banana. Buy this. Lusty Joker versus Joker. Lusty Joker is gonna be more malt on average. So I think we'll take it. And then I guess we'll take hearts if they're convenient. Oh, I don't want a jack of clubs. Guess I'll take this three of hearts. Don't think we're telescoping. The needle. Do you wanna play hands? I think we want to try and play enough hands to... Man, we're so close. I think we want to play enough hands to try and trigger loyalty card during the... Oh my goodness. Try and trigger loyalty card during the boss. In fact, we have to farm three hands next. That shouldn't be that hard. I feel like I've never seen this be good. But we do need a malt source. It's such an interesting, like, thing. I don't know if it's good, but I'm down to try it. Does this tell me if it's good enough? 40 times 4. I don't think it's good enough. Get up. Oh, hang on. 4, 8, 12, 16. Uh, but it's, sorry, I have to do math, 7, 14, 21, 41, 81, 81 plus, 81 times, uh, 11? Sounds like enough. All right, I think this is good. Oh, those tens. Should get it done. I guess I'm not dead if this isn't enough. Because I have another hand I can play. I think this is enough though. Yikes. Okay, that's actually kind of bad. <laughs> Damn. I wish I'd done better math. I think... I think the game would have done it for me. I think I just got lazy. Uh, I have a bunch of discards. I should do... Slightly better. Um, and it might actually be hard to clear the needle now. Which is 
kind of unlucky. Damn, I like completely mistimed that. I should've just played the hand. Although, the punishment from playing the hand's kinda bad, actually. Cause then I can't actually... Yeah, I don't know. Um, Paying $4 for three malt. Seems fine. This ace is really good. Happy to skip there. Well, I don't know about happy, but I'll skip there. I think we're looking for hearts and all flushes. This is kind of rough. Hey, I think this is enough. Almost a straight flush. I hope it's enough. Okay, good. Little spooky. This is such an interesting joker. Riff Raff seems decent, actually. Make me sell Lusty Joker. Um, I mean, I'm probably just skipping for the malt, but. Yeah. This is a weird run. <laughs> ride the bus again. Always get ride the bus. Ride the bus is kind of good. I might need to keep red card to like, uh, I might need to keep red card to like keep me afloat, but I think ride the bus is going to be good enough. I don't have Losty Joker anymore, which actually kind of killed my malt. I need a five. None of these are fives. Seems okay. I actually don't want to play this too. A wheel might be good enough. Oh, this is looking kind of sussy. Where are my fives? I could also find a 10. Bruh. Um, this is bad. <laughs> also gonna mean I think I'm not going to be able to trigger loyalty card in in the boss fight. I think we're playing two pair, and I think just trying to hit a hot flush. I don't have Lusty Joker anymore. Well, that's, is our best hand. I hope this is enough. I don't think it is, though. Damn. It's actually pretty close. Alright, let me just recap the stakes. So, Eternal Jokers. Score scales faster. Small blind gives no money. Alright. Just quickly recapping for myself. I think there were lines in this game that were much better than the lines I took. Uh, I don't think this is enough, but I think it's probably close. This was probably enough. No. But together, they are enough. Getting two bucks instead of three is pretty bad, but probably fine. Jumbo buffoon pack. Yes, please. Don't have face cards. Don't have any other jokers. I think we just take misprint and 
Oh. Actually, losing the dollar was bad there, because being able to buy credit card would have been really good. I know at higher stakes... Oh. It's too, too. I know at higher stakes, I think it's pretty common to reset after... Uh, pretty common to reset after... If you don't one-shot the small blind, because the dollar matters a lot, and it's the only money you get. It's from the hands, you don't get reward money at the first difficulty level. Flushes? I mean, yeah, seems easy enough to do. We have three diamonds and three spades, let's believe in the diamonds. Maybe a bit of mistake, I'll play this pair I guess. I think misprint just completely went off there. <laughs> Didn't really mean to do that, but it works out. Buy this. Hallucination. I think I'm opening all of these, so I'm down. Uh, I think we want the food pack first. Nice. I think, well, 10 mods not bad. Guess I could get Peridola as well. Sells for 4 bucks though. I kind of, oh, it's Eternal. Oh. <laughs> I didn't realize that was Eternal. Uh, it's not the worst card ever, but it's definitely not the best. Oh no. I mean, it's fine. Uh, how much do I want to spike Peridola here? Because I could sell this and make more money. I think... I think it's fine this way. Oh, that's good. Interesting. This doesn't copy spectral cards. I think paying $8 for a rare joker is fine. Not the best rare joker ever. I think I'm just gonna sell this. And I think I am gonna make this hermit, but I'm not gonna use it just yet. That was a very weird first shop. Still trying to make flushes. Have a bunch of hearts. Uh, almost enough hearts. Perfect. Yeah, the 10 molt's pretty good. Honestly, if we hit Peridola, might actually just be off to the races. Even rank cards. Well, still split, right? This is odd. Odd. Four, six, six, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, still uh, 50 50. Odd versus even. Arcana packs are nice, but I think we're strong enough that we can just get some money. Use this Hermit card. Oh. Uh, we should get a different flush. I've just been defaulting to red suits because, I don't know, they're easy to look at, but this is actually kind of bad. Alright. Well, this is going to pop off. Does this trigger Droll Joker? It does. It would be nice to get some tarot cards and pick a lane, but I don't need them. I guess we do want to open packs because of hallucination. Down to use this now and open this. Wow, that is so lucky, actually. <laughs> Four enhanced numbered cards to your hand. That's pretty good. Create a copy of a random joker. Destroy all other ones. We can't destroy... Well... Oh, it can't be destroyed either. Does that mean if I make a copy... Hmm. Okay, so I don't think I'm going to do this, but I think if I, if I sell... 
down to one Joker and Hallucination. I think what happens is it copies one of them and then destroys all the other ones. So if it picks, like, let's say I wanted to copy Sock and Buskin. If it copies Sock and Buskin, oh, I don't think it copies the holographic though. But anyway, whatever. If it copies it, I think it wouldn't destroy this because this isn't destroyable. But if it picks Hallucination, it destroys my other Joker. Okay, that's way too risky. Also, I don't really have a Joker that's so good I want to copy it for sure. I do think getting four numbered cards is good. I think it's better than two enhanced aces. What did that destroy? Oh, whatever. I don't actually know. We have slightly less clubs than anything else. Good to know. Uh, we'll use this for sure. Justice? Justice is okay. We'll open this. No hallucination trigger. Diamonds. We could commit to diamonds. I'm down. Turn my clubs into diamonds, I think. Uh, yeah. Because we're, we're short on clubs. So I'm down to that be the suit I prioritize. Um, I'm going to buy this. I don't think I want to buy Hieroglyph. I've been thinking about it, but I don't think I care enough. This eight is nice. Where are my hearts? This wins. I'll save this justice. It's a pretty good multiplier to have. Just basically like a well, it's actually slightly better than a polychrome code. By Hearn for sure. Um, I think we're skipping too much. Abstract Joker looks pretty good here. Still fishing for Paradola. Didn't get a hallucination proc, which... Oh, I can make hearts as well. I'm down. Let's make all red suits. Diamonds and hearts, right? Yeah, that's... That seems good to me. All right. Uh, this one I can open. Sorry, I didn't... No, actually, opening one is fine. Oh, that's pretty good. We are going to make a lot of flushes. I am down for... Two pair, I guess. I am going to buy Abstract Joker. It's a decent... Bit of flat malt. Negative joker if I skip. Always very tempting. Oh, I didn't use those correctly. That's actually really bad. I'm just going to go for hearts here. Little greedy to hold on to this eight. Okay, I think. Not quite. This is fine. Actually worth a decent amount. Damn. What's going on here? Might have to make an extra gloss code. I think that's probably prudent. Also, I kind of need to use... Kind of need to use uh damn third one. I kind of need to use my uh, tarot card because if I open more, I need hallucination to have enough room. This is as good as banana right now. Misprint is a little inconsistent, but so is the banana that blows itself up. By this, no luck. Looking. Or flush, but we'll take Neptune. Might help us scale. Uh, six dollars for a tarot card, sure. For fifty percent of a tarot card, potentially. That's what I'm opening this for. Uh, take the biggest heart. That seems fine. Do you like negative jokers? This is a bit greedy. But... this. That's bad. I 
think this is good enough? Not quite. One more should do. Oh, this will definitely do. Nice. Alright, well, we built a deck that's pretty easy to play. We keep breaking our glass cards, which isn't all that fun. Our economy is in a good spot, which is probably the most important thing. Wow, this is so bad. <laughs> I'm actually not even buying that. That's so bad. Grab is good. That's depressing. Uh, if I open this and this makes a tarot card, it doesn't break. Because I thought about that before. The tarot card you pick is down here, and then you still have one up here. So as long as you have a slot open, when you open a booster pack, it's fine. I was worried for a second that I was running it down, but not yet. Um, this sun seems fine. And then I think I'll just make a copy of it. Uh, not now, but I'll just make a copy of it. This is getting tough. Make a copy of it now. These and two hearts. Been pretty good. Should in theory make building straight flushes easier as well, but still plenty of hearts left. So we're gonna discard our non hearts. Don't think I have very many glass cards left. Looks like I'm gonna need three hands. Still more hearts than anything else. But I have two diamonds already. I am greedy. That's a okay hand. Uh, it's one dollar for a hand, right? So making three dollars is better than making one extra dollar. Obviously, it would be ideal to make the maximum, but... That's okay. I think this wins. Oh, it definitely wins for Melia. Yeah. I think that was worth it. Misprint maybe needs to go. It's a little inconsistent. Oh, I forgot that this gets made better by negative Joker. I mean, I still don't think I wanted to buy uh, the card. Oh, we found it. Okay, this has to be good. I'm gonna say it's better than Misprint. I think Misprint has had its day. This does expose us to some of the things we wouldn't be exposed to, like uh, some of the boss blinds and stuff, but that's okay. We have diamonds, right? We do. Perfect. All right. I'll select. I think we're feeling pretty good about this run now. a little bit more scaling. Oh, glass card re-triggering is real good. That was not as good as I thought it was going to be. I'm going to admit. Uh, I'll play this for sure. Retrigger, get the gold, which is nice. Nice. Really good, actually. Just barely short. I think this should be more than enough. We don't need very many points. So this combo basically means we have chips sorted, but we do need other... We do need better malt. This is 10 and this is 15. Uh, we could also just make flushes better. That would also be good. Lucky cards, fine. No Jupiter. Neptune again. If we make straight flushes, I think we're in a really good spot, but it's not exactly the easiest thing to make straight flushes. Uh, make bolt cards or make more hearts? I think making more hearts. I mean, we could... Oh. I think this is the right play. I want to make three cards hearts, but I think it's the wrong play. We can make two lucky cards here if we want. Potentially get a re-trigger, which is kind of fun. Let's make this lucky. Let's make this lucky. 
Um, guess if they trigger early, that's good, right? I think we want to lay out like this, but I don't know. That was good. Got the 20 molt once. Oh, we don't have any extra molt. Yeah. I was trying to, like, identify what our problem was. And it's definitely the lack of extra malt. I think I'm going to dig for the diamonds. I'll keep... Sure. This glass... Actually, I changed my mind. I'm going to try and keep this five because I'm very greedy. I think this glass card is too good. Like, I think I need the times two. Oh, it's a steel card too. Okay, well, that was good. Uh, I will... Oh, whoops. I mean, that's fine. Wow, this is, like, actually perfect. Perfect last hands. Uh, I need... Mm, I need, like, a big malt now. We're kind of running out of time. Part of me wishes I'd taken... Uh, well, no. I was going to say I wish I'd taken... Uh, hieroglyph, but I don't, actually don't think that's true. We don't have any way to scale. That makes a lot of money, but I don't need money right now. I actually really wish I could sell this hallucination, but uh, I didn't realize it was Eternals, so no such luck. All right, well, we can... You know what? I actually think we're on track to make... Well... Actually... Am I trying to make the whole deck hearts? I think I'm trying to make the whole deck hearts. Uh, I'm also trying to... Hang on. I'm also trying to make this five. Left card, right card. Yes. Three. I guess... Keeping... I don't actually know what the best way to do that is, but... We're pretty committed to making everything hearts now. Of course. Still... No... Jupiter's strength. This actually might be good. I am really worried. <laughs> I think we can clear this, but we need like an actual malt source. We can sell Droll Joker. Buy something that it gives big malt, and I think we're cruising, but until then. Well. Okay, so the other thing we can do is stop playing straight flushes. Which is maybe the thing we should try to do. Just need a three of hearts. Or another ace of hearts. Hmm. I have five hands too. That's actually a big deal. I have many... Five of hearts, apparently. I'm gonna play this hand first. Okay, this should go to the moon. <laughs> yes. I don't know how easy it is for me to hit straight flushes, but we're probably gonna have to hit them. Damn, that's really bad, actually. <laughs> I kind of needed my glass cards for score. Yikes. Dusk. Dusk is 10 molt. I think... I mean, it's 10 molt. That's better than this, right? I mean... We're definitely treading water, but... We are alive. Emperor. Making a steel card maybe is good. Don't think hitting wheel. Well, if we hit polychrome, that does help a decent amount. All right, whatever. Let's go. <laughs> oh, just casually hitting the one in four for no reason. That was so unnecessary. Full house seems okay. Okay, I'm gonna reroll. I actually think this is really good. Roll again. 
How big is the next blind? 27? I have five hands. I think rolling is good. This could be really good. I think raise fist is not good. I think we are just going next here. I'm just curious how good this hand is. Not great, honestly. <laughs> Probably need to make a glass code. Wish I could make this five. Sorry, wish I could play this five. Wish I could make it into a heart. Strength is kind of tough to use here, but I think we do need to do this. I actually don't know which cards I should be using. Uh, we're doing okay. Okay, this is a weird play, but uh, I think it's fine. <laughs> oh, I played the wrong one. That's terrible. I meant to play this five. That's so bad. I'm going to play it anyway because I'm very greedy. I didn't make that. That wasn't that bad, actually. This probably is enough. Oh, it better be enough. It's my last hand. I didn't realize that. Okay, bless up. That was pretty touch and go, though. I need molt. Retrigger all hand in held abilities. Well, if I had a lot of them, that would be good. But I don't have that many of them. Oh, held in hand. No, never mind. That's not good. Uh, I'm definitely re-rolling. Guess I'm opening these. This 10 seems good. Oh, it's a diamond. Never mind. Open this. No hallucination. I think this king is good. Uh, buy this for later. Reroll. That is good. That's more malt then. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. Loses the chips. I actually think I need Dusk to win. <laughs> kind of pains me. I think Lusty Joker is enough though. Although, malt isn't. Flat malt hasn't been my problem. Guess I'm re rolling for. Just any multiplayer. Don't understand. Uh, I think this is actually pretty good though. But I lost all my money. Sell this. Make me a dollar if I survive. I kind of want to save my good cards if I can. Like, I want to save my big cards for the last hand. Because Dusk will get me over the finish line, potentially. I don't have discards. That's not great. <laughs> is what it is. I have to play a bad hand to ensure I can find this flush. That was not enough. It's left in my deck. Some. Oh, hang on. No, there's not that much good left in my deck. All right, I th think this will work, but I hope it does. Because if it doesn't, I'm dead. I mean, that was nice. All right, wish me luck. Wow, just barely. 
got me over the line. That is so frustrating. <laughs> Man. I mean, I have a decent number of diamonds. I mean, it seems really dumb, but I think I have to take it. Oh, the wall's gonna kill me for sure. I'm gonna try and play a diamond flush. My last one, I guess. Oh, interesting. Um, I don't think. Okay, I gotta play it now, I guess. I guess I want these to re trigger up. Eh, that was actually pretty good. Uh, this steel card might help too. I think we're gonna be okay. This is helping, but something else would be better. Nacho Tong is good. I think Nacho Tong is so good that I'm saving for it here. I will make a tarot card. Yes. Discard the low hearts. Justice. That's pretty good. I think this is where we are as far as making winning hands. But it's kind of the opposite of how you want to treat glass sometimes. Like, I need them not to break. But when they don't break, they're really good. Hitting a full he would be really big. 15 molt. Obelisk. What's my most played poker hands? Flush, right? Yeah, flush by a long shot. I don't think I can play not flush. Mystic Summit is just 15. I don't think that's helpful. I think we'll just take the Nacho Tong. Is opening a pack good here? I think it's not enough. This is going to be very challenging. Maybe I play for like the big multi gloss again. Or I guess I could play for the straight flush. Or the flush house. Is this good? This might be good. This looks good. I have a lot of hands, too. That doesn't look good enough. How many glass cards do I have left? It's really hard to tell which ones are glass. Seven? I think just the seven. And we have the seven and the five. Nine of hearts do I have left? Zero. Five, six, seven. No, I can't make that one. I can make the lower straight. It looks like four, five, six, seven. Straight flush is better than a uh, flush house. Sorry, this is so much stuff to check. Two, three, four, five, six would be a hand I could play. I could play ace, two, three, four, five, two. All right, I think we're playing for two, three, four, five, six of hearts. Wait. So I need to keep the ace, discard this. Six, keep the seven. Lose one of the extra sixes. Found a gloss seven that might be good enough in the last hand. I'm gonna actually play this hand instead of discarding. I might need to get to dusk. That's not bad. Oh, hang on. I have to really think here. Three, four, five, six, seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. Do I have a four of hearts left? I have one. I think that's the plan then. 
This is not the Four of Hearts. Yeah, I think I just have to find the Four of Hearts. Three, four, five, six, seven. Three, four, five, six. That would work. Okay. I'm keeping this diamond because I'm greedy. Two, three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. I don't know if this is good enough to win. But I think it has to be. And I think it's only good enough if dusk happens. I was just hoping for 20 bucks there. Three, four, five, six, seven. All right. I don't think this is good enough, but I think this is the best hand I can possibly make. Put all the malt before the glass card. Good luck, us. Let's go! And it didn't break. Nice. Wow, that was... It's hack good. I do have a lot of two... Two, three, four, five. Two... Three, four, five. I have a decent number of those cards. Retriggering. Is retriggering hack good? I don't know if retriggering hacks that good. I mean, it's kind of the only way I make any hands right now. I'm gonna crack this hermit before I do anything else. I mean, I think this setup is, I think Dusk is better than hack basically, which I think means hack isn't good. None of these are big enough malt jokers. Open this. I think we are actually all in on straight flushing. Um, I think we probably need this if that's the case then. Free Mega Arcana pack, nah. Um. It's really hard, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's really hard for us to play diamond straight flushes, which does make our greedy joker not great. <laughs> but I think that's just something we have to live with. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just two can leave, I think. That is pretty good. I want this ace to be a wild card. Also, I can't play it. I won't trigger this. That's all I wanted to do was just get my gold. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many sevens of hearts do we have? Two. I think I'm gonna make this ace a wild card. Uh, six, eight, and ten. I guess I could also hit the five. We have a lot of fives. I have a bunch of nines. I'm. We have one nine. If I play this ten, I can never play this ten again. But I think that's fine. Like, I can never play the straight flush that has that ten in it. Because I don't have any others. That did not make very much. Five, six, seven, eight, nine looks pretty good, though. Probably enough at the end. Let's do this. Let's try and make money. Never lucky. I think I'm just gonna have to assume five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna have to assume that Dusk retriggering my straight flush wins again because it was good enough to beat the wall. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. And I think that's just gonna have to be true. Uh, this. Four is better, I guess. I think this is the way we win every hand. And if this glass card ever breaks, we're doomed. If we find a justice, I need to hold on to it forever. Okay, looks like that strategy is working. Man, ride the bus. Kind of late. Also, I just don't need the malt. 
I really wish I had a better Joker than Greedy Joker, but I think we're in a decent enough position that I don't have to panic. This is very greedy. Oh crap, I have to find my straight flush now. Um, That's kind of bad. Keep the steel code. Oh, no, okay. Ace, two, three. I think we're just finding ace, two, three, four, five. I didn't realize we had this glass five. Also, that tarot card hit was pretty good. Four, five, six. Oh, this eight's never going to hit. It's ace, two, three, four, five. It's actually eight. So, well, I have one four of hearts. Five, six, seven, eight. I have two sevens. Six, seven, uh, I don't like this situation. <laughs> um, wait, this is really tough because I'm not going to pop Dusk. Do I just have to play Flushes? Flushes are not good enough, right? 80 times 10 is not good. Okay. I'm just committed to this. This seems so tough. I think I'm going to lose. I mean, I have to play flushes now, I guess. hope they're good enough. We have a lot of them to play. That does not look good enough. Unfortunately. Maybe we could have saved these glass cards. Maybe it is good enough. Although that was with the glass cards. Uh, I think we're playing this gold seal. This should be okay. Was I running out of cards? Hang on. <laughs> I can still play the other hands, right? What's left? <laughs> um, I actually can't play enough hands to win. So I'm going to do this. It's fine. This is allowed. This is such a bizarre situation. Okay, I hope this is enough. I think it is. Damn. We tried really hard this run. I feel like I got the combo I wanted. I guess I just never found a way to go bigger. And I don't know. This run was definitely winnable, but I don't think I navigated around this boss blind very well. Yeah, I don't know. Really interesting run. Uh, definitely think the stakes are going to get harder. And I think... I think even though it was maybe my hubris that caused the problem, uh, Eternal Jokers do make a big difference because this hallucination probably could have been something else that added more score. But anyway, that was really fun. I'm going to keep trying with this deck to beat the stake. If I can't beat it, we'll see what I can do uh, with maybe some of the other decks. But I'm relatively committed to the abandoned deck right now as I try and get better at the game's higher difficulties. Uh, slap a like, comment, subscription in and around the video if that's something you're into. Otherwise, as always, thanks for hanging out.